I mean, Babs becoming a thing? I saw that look in her eyes when she handed you those shrooms on a stick. <laughs> I'll give her my stream on a stick. If I share it a little with me, at least let me lick the juice off the stick. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to some more Dragon Quest Builders 2. Oh man, I am so freaking addicted to this game, I just can't stop. I can't stop, won't stop. All right, um, so I did a little bit of the mining. I, I gathered some iron ore, placed down another smelter so we could get these iron ingots going. Um, the mining part takes quite a bit of time, but... Uh, I feel I feel like we're about to hit a milestone here, so I figured I would start the episode uh, anyways. And if we have to do a little bit of mining in this episode, so be it. Uh, looks like we got a stake here. So, let's get going. Magrog. Ah, you found the iron. I take it the miners are able to work the seams now. A builder like you could make some useful tools out of iron. A metal mallet would m break blocks better than wooden thing you've got flailing around. But more importantly, what's the situation with the, you and Babs? What do you mean? You don't know what I mean. Oh. I mean, Babs are coming a thing? Pa, don't play dumb with me, laddie. I saw that look in her eyes when she handed you those shrooms on a stick. <laughs> I'll give her my shroom on a stick. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not competing for Babs' affection like these hooligans. I just want to know what, what I have to do when I get some of her delicious cooking myself. So about those shrimps she gave you, are they any leftovers? Might share a little with me? At least let me lick the juice off the stick. <laughs> um, Johnny, is it me or have you noticed whatever Babs comes up with, the people here start acting all strange? Love, you say? Never heard of it. <clears throat> if you find any, can you give me a bit? <laughs> so I was just, uh, we got to a wall in the cave, which I thought was why we're going to hit a milestone. I couldn't get through it. And they're like, oh, the, the, the bombs aren't going to work. Your mallet's not going to work. Go talk to the blacksmith. And now he's suggesting we make a new uh, iron hammer. And also, mining the iron took a very, very long time using this little wooden mallet. So what's he got to say for us now? So you finally got your hands on some iron, eh? You're making good progress down there. But it won't all be plain sailing, I promise you that. Sooner or later, you'll bump into a section of tunnel uh, too tough for that wooden mallet. Uh, you need a harder hammer to break those rocks, and here we'll need the smithy, a blacksmith home, away from home. I want you to make the walls entirely out of iron blocks. I found... I found surrounding yourself with iron brings out the best in a blacksmith. Inside, I want the iron forge, a leather sack, a pot, and a chest. And we'll be uh, set for some serious iron mongery. <clears throat> All right. Well, we kind of demolished this. We're just gonna... We're gonna just turn this into a smithy, I suppose. I mean, the size doesn't matter, does it? Um, uh, yeah. Okay, we're just gonna move this stuff. Wait, why can't I... Move the box. <clears throat> just gonna make a little bit of space. And then we're just gonna use this area. Alright. Carve out a hole. Make a smithy. Now, can I make some of these stone blocks? Because those are really fancy looking. 
Yeah, it tickled my throat. Sorry, guys. I'm getting a raspy throat talking all day. a lot of iron if we're going to make all these walls out of iron. But we got enough. It's just got to wait for it to smelt. Alright. He didn't have any requests for the floor, did he? Let's see what kind of floor pieces we can build here. Right. Wait, silver ingot? Oh, that's silver bricks. You know what? <clears throat> oh, it's that time again. I think we're gonna actually have enough to evolve him here. Mm. So, I understand now, this is my share. They give me six, uh, 41 lumps of coal, eight chunks of iron, and 14 chunks of copper. So I passively get uh, more and more ore from them. Now, hopefully this is the case when we go back to our island We get set up a mining expedition and we can get stuff just passively That'd be pretty awesome, but Goldie Rocks gets 266 lumps, and I think that might be enough to level Goldie Rocks up Thank you. Me need six uh, 76 more lumps of copper then me become copper gold. So one more day One more day But then he'll be a full Copper golem, and then we'll be moving on to silver. Um, it's quite quite the long phase here, just like moving, uh, leveling up the dia tree. That that took some serious work. We had to get five different kinds of uh, farms going. Uh, but the, the interesting thing between these acts is, in uh, Furrowfield, we did a lot of like traveling around and going to, to different places and doing quests for certain people so that we could get those seeds. And we would do it, uh, go to a new area explore it, find new materials, new things to farm with, new seeds, and then we would get those things and, and you know, we'd use the dog to sniff them up. Whereas here, everything's about the mining excavation and we're getting quests to basically get new hammers to get into new areas. So it's, it's much similar to the seeds, but we have different stages. So we're going with copper, uh, coal, and now we're going in, into iron. And I'm assuming in the next stage, we're going to have um, silver, coal, and maybe something else. Maybe there'll be something better than iron. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. Or maybe there'll just be more iron. Then we'll go to the gold stage. So there's three big stages here, whereas the, with the farming, there was five seed stages. Uh, I, I have a feeling this act is going to be slightly shorter than the uh, first one. But um, we also kind of get the hang of things now. And... It's just different. It's just a different way. But in the first act, we had to create all... We had to create like a bungalow, just like we did here. Uh, we had to give them a sleeping quarters. We built a kitchen, um, the bathhouse, the barn. And we're just doing slightly different things this time around. And uh, now, now the main focus here is the smithy. So hopefully we have enough copper... It says copper wall, but I feel like this will work actually kind of nice for a floor. So... Yeah, we're just gonna do this for the floor since we don't have a lot of other options. I mean, we could do a wooden floor, but I want this thing to be a freaking steel fortress. Oh wow, we ran out quite quickly. Uh, I have plenty of copper though, so we'll just make more. Uh, 30 should be plenty. Um, yeah, leave your comments down below. Wh which act did you guys like or do you enjoy more so far? Did you enjoy the Faro Fields farming, all the different farmers, the characters there, building up the Dia Tree? Or are you more interested in the, um, the Goldie Rocks golem and the mining? Uh, for me, I like them both for different reasons. And, oh, geez, that wasn't enough. Characters-wise... I feel like there were a lot of really good characters in Furrowfield. And I've become attached to them. Uh, whereas here... I feel like a lot of them are the same. They're all these kind of dummy barbarian miners. Um, obviously, we all like Babs. Babs' father's pretty cool. 
Um, yeah, and then we just met this Spencer guy, I think, is that his name? Surge. Yeah, which we don't really know much about him. So there, there isn't really a whole lot of memorable characters. Oh, there's the blacksmith, too. Um, can't remember his name. I'm terrible with names. I'll start to learn them over time, though, as I continue talking to them. Where is that guy? There he is. Magrog. Magrog and Malroth. Okay. Yeah, Magrog's cool. So there's basically like three memorable characters here so far. Maybe we'll learn a little bit more about Sturge. But Pharaoh Fields, to me, had the better character lineup. Um, but I like... I feel like that the stuff that we did, the, my, uh, the the running around, there was tons and tons of running around and exploring in Foro Fields, which I don't enjoy as much as this mining stuff and building here. Uh, I feel I feel like this one's a little less like exhausting and more enjoyable. That's personally how I feel about it. So we need to build a crap ton of iron walls. He didn't say any size, did he? I'm gonna have to go check out on him again. 50 walls is enough? Let's see. That's about 9. So I'm gonna need 20. 40. Mm, 60? We'll make 70 just in case. I think 60 should be enough. Uh, we'll do a quick sleep. Okay, let's just double check in with him. He doesn't say anything about size. Just don't need a forge, a leather sack, a pot and a chest. Okay, so let's clear up our inventory here. Okay, we already have two forges. We need a pot. And a leather sack. And we have a chest. First, let's make sure this is going to be big enough. To fit both of these. We won't be able to fit our crafting table inside, I don't think. Um... We could just make it one bigger. I need some more of those pieces. that guy in there. Yeah. Put this in the corner. And then we'll need the leather sack. Hey. Put the leather... S Wait, why can't I put a sack there? Oh, maybe the sacks go on the wall, I guess? Interesting. Chest can go here. What? Oh no. Oh, oh. I was I was facing down for some reason. Ah oh, fine. The chest can go there. What? Why why won't Oh freaking darn it. I guess the sack goes on the wall. 
Can I place the pot here? We need a door. What kind of door can we make? Might as well make a couple windows. Sure. Hey. Oh. Okay. There. Now we just have to decide where we want our windows. Probably try to make it. S Bam. Mm. Let's do one big window. Oh, they. When they when they're connected, they grow. That's cool. In fact, I like that so much. I want to do it over here too. He did say all iron walls. I hope this doesn't cause a problem. But we need some. We need it to be somewhat aesthetically pleasing. You got to be able to watch the uh, smithy do his job from the windows. Let's get the door on here. And it should be complete. Wait, we need the sack. Aha! See, I don't like that. It's in the way of the chest. Alright, here goes nothing. The door should complete it. Woo! Yeah! Beautiful smithy. Good job with the new smithy, Johnny. You've got a real knack for this kind of thing. Ah, smells like freshly smelted iron was never smelt so good. Uh, <clears throat> we could do great work in a smithy like this. Uh, but making ingots is a time-consuming task. We could work more effectively with two forges on the go. I'll leave the final decisions up to you. I love how he says that now, but luckily I already planned for that. <laughs> more to the point, have you tried your hand at iron mongering yet? Maybe the heavy metal paneling will provide some food for thought in that builder's brain of yours. Just imagine forged iron clashing against solid rock. I'm sure something will come to mind. I, I know they say you can't rush creativity, but have you really not figured it out yet? What's he talking about? Is he talking about the mallet? <clears throat> oh, there we go. Sledgehammer. Let's get the uh, copper going. And the iron. And craft ourselves a new ham ham. Yep. Yes. Yay. 
Oh yeah. Johnny! What the heck is that? It looks kind of like your old hammer, but much more smashy. It really suits you. Yeah. But the real put proof is in the pudding, is in the smashing. <laughs> Let's go test that thing out on some poor unsuspecting rocks. But how come you're the only one who gets a shiny new toy? I want some... I want you to make me something dangerous for me, too. Do I get a new recipe for him? We need big bramble. Did I not make him that yet? Sorry, man. And can I give him armor? Let's see. Do I have any on me? I never tried giving him armor. No, he doesn't want it. Ah, what did I just put away? We gotta get a screenshot in front of our new... S s in front of the smithy with our new hammer. I don't think we have the room in here for to be able to do that. Hmm. <laughs> Finicky little room. It's not bad. I kind of like it when you can't see the uh, fact that we don't have a ceiling. Alright, that's good enough. <laughs> a sledgehammer, of course! I knew you'd figure something out, Johnny! I hard a hardened hammer like that won't bounce off those rocks the way that weak wooden thing would. Well, time to break out the anvil and the elbow grease. Have you ever got everything you need to make it? If not, it's back down the mine you go. I've already made it. It's a 5-11 jammer you crafted there, Johnny. I'm sure you'll be able to put it to good use down in the mine. Uh, when I see sledgehammer in hand, it fills me with confidence. If anyone can build, rebuild the pub and revive the mine, you can, Johnny. But there's something I've got to get off my chest. We've got to get the children of Hargan off this island. They've been running the show around here for too long. No matter how many of us use the see the light and reject Hargan's ways, so long as the, his lackeys are still around spreading their lies, we'll never bring good days back to Crum Crumbaldon. Why can't I still not say that? Crumbaldon. This island is ruled by the Underseer, one of the children's top brass. If you can defeat her, it'll put Crumbledon back in our hands and give Hargan a proper poke in the eyes. Okay, some boss fighting coming up. We haven't done any boss fighting waves yet. And... What are you doing, kitten? You messing shit up again? Um... We didn't quite finish the pub. We need, uh... What did we need? We needed, um... Three dart boards. Two signs. I think it was five blocks, which we have plenty on us now. Let's finish this guy up. Oh, get on my way. So we gotta get back here to get these blocks in. There we go. And then three dart boards. Dart party. The improvements to the bar make the miners more motivated and they now mine more metal. Awesome. And I believe one of the signs is supposed to go back here. And then one was going... Yes! 
Build up bar complete. Copper bar is completely rebuilt. Now the miners will mine more metal. You finished rebuilding that pub. I love what you did with it. I'm sure Dad will be thrilled to bits with his new gaff. Come on, let's go tell everyone the good news. Oh, Johnny, do me fav favor for me. Thank you, Johnny. You're off to good. St oh, you're off to a good start, all right. When the gold rush hits again, there'll be much more metal pouring out of that mine. When you be you won't believe your eyes. Uh, uh, and Babs pulls the cottontail costume. Your peepers pop that stocks. <laughs> Wait, what? Your people should pop on, on stocks? I don't understand a word of that. I know mine will. <laughs> that's a, that's as m may be, but I ain't stepping in a single fish net unless you do everything Goldie Gold Rox asked for first, remember? Babs kind, Babs carry, Babs become dancing girl for me. <laughs> me not worthy. <laughs> don't worry, Goldie Rox. I ain't putting my meself out. I've always wanted to be a dancer like me, old mom. The only reason it, I'm waiting is to get these wasters working. Speaking of which, there's a little matter of go to, of Goldilocks' other's favor. How's that coming along, Johnny? Yep, yep, yep. We gotta expand the tunnels. All this appreciation pouring in. How much more do we need? It doesn't really give us an estimate, does it? Or is it covered up? Hmm. Well, the bar's done, so that's cool. What's this guy out of saying? <laughs> what, uh, Johnny? I heard you got yourself a sledgehammer now. Sounds like you got the tool we've been looking for. Remember that rocky blockage Doogie said you couldn't break down? Well, I reckon your hammer of yours could do some smashing on job on it. Johnny, before you go... She just jumps on the wall. Take these. I've made myself, you know, in case you get hungry down there. Shrooms on a stick. <clears throat> Those tunnels are cold and dark. Not to mention dangerous. You and Melroth watch each other's backs down there, okay? Again, listen here, Johnny. I'll, I'll let you take her to lunch, but I'll never let you take her heart. Uh, that belongs to me. Now you ain't got a hammer to be swinging somewhere. Uh, off trot then, down the mine. Or you could just warp all the way down to the iron dig site. May as well cut uh, the legwork in it. Yep, looks like we're all done down here. Oh, there's some enemies to kill. Get out of my town! Now, I was, I was saying earlier, what did you guys like more in terms of like Act 1 or 2? And I think I like them for their own different reasons. Now, I gotta say, the, the building of the farms is far more gratifying than the building of the smithy. This, the, it's, it's nice that these are working ingots and stuff, and, uh, but the, the kitchen that we had before was a little bit more epic, but the bar is cool in its own way as well. Uh, well, yeah, this is probably better than the kitchen we had. Yeah, this this definitely outdoes the, the first act. However, the farm, growing the crops and clearing the crops, that was a lot of fun, and I really loved setting them up as well. Watching them, uh, you know, till the fields and pull the crops, it was really quite rewarding. So, I'm definitely liking them for their different reasons. The bar's pretty badass. Um, Forge is doing their thing. Definitely nice elements. It's it's really got me curious to, to know what Act 3 has in, for, in store for us. Because other than mining, farming, and building, what else is there in terms of a main resource. It's not really coming to mind right away. Excited to find out. Alright. In order to find out, we must get through Act 2. So let's head on down. 
Going to the iron dig site. I have a feeling this uh, mine is going to go along a long ways down because uh, I think I've had two checkpoints so far. And we haven't even evolved the golem to his first phase. And we still got silver and gold to go. <laughs> That's insane. So we definitely got a few more episodes in here. And then the finale of Act 1 was insanely long. It was like three hours. So uh, I imagine we, we're, we're still got a ways to go here. Uh, but why you've brought that smug look with you? What what we need is particularly powerful. Hey, you made yourself a sledgehammer. Sounds just like we need to shift this blockage. Well, there ain't no time to like the present, Johnny. I want to see your new toy sizes up them rock hard blocks. All right. And I just pick one up, like no problem. Let's we'll just move them. <laughs> Who needed a hammer when we could just move them all? Oh my god, that's kind of hilarious. Uh... <laughs> Whoops. Just move them. It's freaking hilarious. I wonder if we weren't able to move them until we got the hammer, though. That would kind of make sense. I never tried, though. Never know. Oh, it's that time again. Better b grab your balloons and invite your friends. Listen here, lads. The light's fading but fast, so we better get cracking today's accumulation de declaration. All right, we're gonna evolve our freaking golem. There we go. What's the haul for today? 57 lumps of coal, 10 chunks of iron, 18 chunks of copper. And we only needed 76. The big boy. Wait, did they not give him any? What what happened? I thought he only needed 76 more. What's going on here? What? I, I skipped. I went through that too quickly. Usually they give him a reward at the end of it. What happened there? Hmm. Maybe, maybe it's gated behind our progress of fixing up the tunnels. So, he's not, he can't evolve faster than where we are in our progress. It's the only thing I can think of. But he, we should, we should have had it right there. Oh my god, look at all that coal. See, I don't think I'm going to mine all this stuff. I was doing that before in between the episodes, taking my time, clearing up the... It's just a little bit annoying, and it's a lot of, like, jumping and... Yeah. Uh, I think we have enough, like, resources coming in just passively every day from these guys. Wow! This is really cool. It's, uh... <laughs> Ooh, freaking love it. All right, what's up, ma'am? Uh, a butcher's at this, Johnny. There's wet stuff all over the shop. Us miners ain't exactly strong swimmers. If we got uh, swept into a lake, it'd be curtains. It'd be curtains for the lot of us. Sorry, Johnny, but we can't go no further. Hey, Nabbit. Seeing them chains? Uh, have a, a shimmy up them and find where all that water's coming from, will you? Dookie dookie. Try plopping down a few blocks and see if you can plug the leak. You got it. Ooh, these chains are awesome. Gotta put hang those off a gigantic castle. Ugh, jump. It looks like a new plant. Uh, it's just the same old material though. Can I block it? 
Um, should I use wood? Not quite the same wood, but that'll do. <clears throat> you put a stop to the leak there, Johnny. You're an absolute legend. Now we can head on down the low level. I wonder what we'll find. Well, let's find out. Thanks a million, Johnny. Now we can head over to the bridge without having to worry about that drowning. I've got a question. How did this big puddle get here in the first place? That ain't no puddle, Marv. It's an underground lake. Beautiful, ain't it? It's, this mine's been hidden more mysteries than we could possibly imagine. <laughs> the old tales of mystery, mystical temples, forgotten shrines, and hidden treasures so valuable they're invaluable. These tunnels might be dark and deadly, and after stories to be believed, they're a choke up a block with adventures just a waiting to happen. <clears throat> <clears throat> Digby. Oh, we're absolutely starving. Get them shroom sticks. All right, what's uh, what's up with this area? What's up, little jelly man? Need directions, Goo Man? It's easy to lose your bearings in these tunnels. Okay, I've read this before. There's another guy. Alright. Just checking the walls to see if there's any, like, silver or anything. Alright, it's... Oh, does the bomb work now? We're gonna try the bomb. Run, everyone. Nope. Got to use the hammer. Why don't I don't even have this on my bar. Whoops. Whatever. There you go. Oh, it's one of them big boys. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Whoa. Frick. No match for my freaking copper sword. So I'm assuming we're gonna get like a silver sword, then a gold sword, and Valros gonna probably get like a silver hammer. We're gonna get a lot of gear upgrades. And then what about armor? I want some golden armor? All right. Get them mushrooms. Need more food. See, there's no, like, actual food production in this act. It's only the things that I bring and put in the chest. Sure, she'll cook it, but I have to grab, like, the berries and the mushrooms and bring them to her. So that's a little bit of a painful part of this act. Oh my god, another one. <laughs> That's amazing. Ugh. I want to get a screenshot of him doing that pose. It's freaking hilarious. Oh, nope. I almost got it. I mean, that's not bad. It's <laughs> kind of hilarious. <laughs> no, that's the one. Uh, I, I'm not close enough. I guess I can zoom it in in Photoshop. Oh my god, Balroth's dead. They weren't kidding about this guy being strong. Frick! 
I'm doing. Uh oh, shoot! Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. Let's get out of here. Malroth! Shoot. I chewed through all my food too? Jeez, this guy's gonna chase me forever? Bomb time. Or if the bomb will blow the mob up. <laughs> it kind of did. Didn't do any damage. Giggity. Oh, it's the uh, monster that I think he was talking about. Children of Argon. Honey, Malroth, please, you gotta do something. Don't let him touch me. Aw, oh, crap. And Malroth's dead. Frack. I think we have to port back up. And rest. Shoot. Not good. Oh. Okay. As long as I'm out of combat, I should be okay. And we need to rest and get more food. John, you ain't gonna believe it. Them miners collected a thousand lumps of copper. We can finally turn Goldie Rocks into the copper golem. Okay, so... It did work, we just had to wait until we were back in order to initiate the, the uh, sequence. Come on, let's hurry over and tell them the good news. Pow! Oh, snap. Woohoo, me become Copper Golem. Thank you, Johnny. Congratulations. Congratulations, Golden Rocks. You're looking pretty dapper. Thank you, Babs. You happy, me happy, we all happy. But if no one become Gold Golem, Golden Age no return. Need more metal. There's only, there's only one, only one thing for it. We'll have to push deeper into the mine. That's there. That's if there's any gold and silver left down there. We can worry about that later. For now, let's just be happy. Goldie Rocks swank. Goldilocks a swank new look. The copper glob. The copper clopper really suits you. Really, really, really. Thank you, Babs. Me feel stronger already. Awesome. All right, let's get that food. We'll put some more shroomies in there. Do I have any other food that I can put in? Can I cook this? What is this? A prickly peach. Ooh. What is this? A rock bomb shard. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I never tried. Oops. Well, I guess we're cooking a prickly peach. I was going to say, I never tried... Oh. Cooking a... Vine apple. I don't think. You have to cook things first in order for her to know the recipe. Hey, kitten. You're going to knock my drink over. Why'd you leave your kitty castle? I'm trying to make a video! Alright. Now, if we put... Perky peach in there and the vine apples. She will cook us some more stuff. Appreciation! Oh, we got a long way to go to level up. And why is it not telling me how much I need to get? It did that in Faro Fields. Hey, kitty! Alright, I'll put you, up, put you out of the room. You can't freaking try to drink my coffee. What are we doing now? Fixing up the tunnels still. Um, oh yeah, we just want to go down and battle. How's my... We need some more food. 
I was gonna rest, but it's daytime now. Oh. That actually works. Don't have to waste all our food. Alright. Back into the mine we go. It was... Oh, there we go. A little bit of backtracking tra tra to do. Let's see. Okay. Hauling ass. I going the right way? It's a pretty cave. Yeah, I definitely enjoy exploring this cave more than I did the outer fields for some reason. Which is strange, because in most games, I tend to feel the other way around. Um, I don't know what it is. I, I feel like when in Foro Fields, exploring the fields is annoying. There's all these critters trying to get in my way, and I was like, getting stuck on brambles all the time, and I guess the dog was always sniffing things. It was, it's just a lot of running around. I guess because it was such a, a scripted, it didn't really feel like I was exploring myself. I don't know what it was. But I enjoy this more. I think I, that's why I enjoy this more, because it's linear. Um, if, if you're gonna give me a, a specific goal that's linear-based, give me a linear map, makes it go a little bit smoother. But they, before, it was, uh, more linear goals in an open area. Yeah, that's definitely what's going on. But one thing I did like more about Pharaoh Fields is when we did those missions and explored, we, we ended up finding really cool characters along the way. We found Brittany, we found Saffron and Lillian. Uh, I'm sure there was someone else as well. Yeah, the little uh, angry boy that liked to break everything. I forgot his name because we didn't he didn't come with us. Wait, wasn't this the room where we were supposed to have the battle? Or maybe it's the next room. I just don't remember this room for some reason. Oh, this little chunky monkey. Whoa, the block is attacking us. <laughs> Look at the smiley face. gives dirt as a reward? I got too much dirt. Okay, here we go. We're back. Bring it on! The skeletons are red in this act. A little bit tougher. I'm trembling with fear! Oh. Should have made some of those healing herbs, actually. Instead of food. I wonder if my hammer hits harder than this. Sword. I can't really tell. Seems to be doing something. It's less accurate. No. <laughs> Lovely jobby. You had it under control all along, eh? Malraf, good news. We've taken back the uh, Anuver area from the children of Vargon's clutches. The bad news is, I think they are onto us now and not knowing what the lot are like, but they're sure to set their sights on the next, next on the pub. 
but if there's so much as a spill a drop of me jigger, thou will face the fury like the <laughs> like so they ain't ever seen in their worstest nightmares. You do that for us, right, Malroth? Don't give me that look. Come on. Let's keep moving. <laughs> We've made a stonk in progress, Johnny. We just need to repair a bit more track. Then we can count on the first level of the mine to be fully fixed. Exploring these tunnels ain't done much good for my crippling monstrophobia, but uh, on the plus side, we bag more metal than we could shake a pick at. Yeah, what's the deal with the mine tracks? Because I haven't been laying any more since that beginning bit. Once we fix the mine and get the pub back up and proper, it'll be that winning smile back on Babs' face. Babs' pretty face. And she'll dress up all fancy rabbit suit and all core blimey. I uh, think I might be going up and mad with excitement. Um, anyway, I'll recall... As I recall, you used to be able to ride a mark cart from near here all the way back to the top. Right, let's get this railway up and running again. Time to lay some more track, eh, Johnny? Now then, where's that station? Oh boy. I have to bring the track all the way back up. Oh, there it is. Now this section of track's got two lines running parallel. We better fix both, eh? It's a tricky job, but it shouldn't be a problem for resident railway repair. Well, so long as you got enough track on you, if you need any more, there's plenty of that the place ain't using. All right, Johnny, time to make those tracks back to town. Well, I should be able to craft them now that we have, like, iron unlocked. Make it way easier than having to freaking bash these all out. Ugh. Well, you know what? Lane track isn't the most fun thing, and we are almost at an hour on the recording. So why don't I, uh, just do this myself, and in the next episode we'll... I don't know. I guess the tunnels are about to be fixed. So we're about to hit the milestone. So I'll, I'll try to like repair the tracks and get that to 100%. And then the next uh, episode shall begin. And we'll go to the next segment of the story. Um, I definitely feel like we got a ways to go still. Considering he just became the, the copper golem. But... Act 2 is shaping up to be about as long as the first act. So, lots of content. But, uh, three acts total from my understanding. So, there'll be one more long, like, 10 hour, ep like, act. A nice series to close things out. And then I don't know what to expect after that because. Even after doing this act and then the following act, I think there's still a ton of recipes, rooms, and things to collect and, uh, you know, that's... Beating the, the campaign, I feel, is just, you know, the beginning. <laughs> the, the game's gonna start giving us other stuff that uh, wasn't in the campaign, I believe. Anyways, that's my guess, but I, I'm probably right based off the amount of stuff that's in this game. So it'll be interesting to see how they feed us things, and I'm assuming it'll just be through inspiration points. We'll fully unlock the game, and it'll just be like a slew of stuff, and you go, all right, what do I want to buy? And then you just like do stuff around your sandbox, earn points, and then buy stuff. And that, that'll, that'll be a fun way of playing the game once we get there. Boom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode once I got the track laid out, and then we'll see what we have to do next. All right, guys. Bye now.